Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people of so freedom all over the world. Wherever you're joining us from today, you're highly welcome to this wonderful YouTube platform. This is Let's Talk TV, where we talk about all the activities happening in Biafran territory as it is hot, as it is happen for Biafran territory. Please subscribe and make sure you continue to stay with us on Let's Talk TV for more updated news and information. Now, straight up to the matter where I carry on for you before I play, you know, this particular video from the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa's visit. is a continuation, actually. Now, there is a matter currently trending on social media. And as I'm talking to you, scores of innocent people were murdered in broad daylight at Okwama community. Now, if you don't know the real gist about the, how the whole thing started, the truth is that the Nigerian terrorism, um, you know, military has actually been lying to the people. And I believe strongly that every, in quote, I'm going to use Nigeria, at least in quote, every Nigerian needs to know the truth because they've continued to eat up the lies from this so-called um, military that is protecting their land but the reality is that these people are doing more good than harm one reason that the prime minister simon ekpa has actually wanted these people to vacate them um, biafran land every corners of biafran land is the fact that they are causing more harm than good at okwama community a scores scores of people were killed the military said they went for peacekeeping mission and they were attacked but that is not the story the truth of the matter was that the military forcefully wanted to arrest three traditional rulers you know how they do it they wanted to forcefully arrest three traditional rulers you know as a community the people did not agree they stood their ground at least why will you want to arrest our traditional rulers and take them without letting us know the real cause of the problem and that was how the whole you know all this started before you know what happened the military, who are meant to be protecting lives and properties, released shots and started shooting at these villagers. Where a huge amount of innocent villagers were killed that same day. And they left scores of many, scores of many wounded, heavily wounded. That is actually the issue. And that was where the whole calamity started. The people retaliated. And yet, the military went further to start killing innocent people. The reality is that how can a so-called military who is meant to be in the war front, be fighting a village, be fighting a particular village that is not armed, just because of the resisted arrest and decided to defend their land, this is the level that this country has got into. Oh, what a country. A country that, um, you know, terrorism is now the new business. Kidnapping is now the order of the day. And one man is standing in the gap saying that he is the only person that can negotiate with those kidnappers. And yet, nobody has said anything about Gumi. Nobody has arrested Gumi. This is the kind of um, wickedness that we are seeing in this contraption called Nigeria. And someone there is sitting and telling me, no, we don't want Biafra. My dear, it must come. <laughs> if you don't, you don't understand what is coming. That thing that has been making the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa to scream loud on daily basis for Biafra to come, you don't understand. You will understand soon if Biafra does not come. But that is highly impossible 
because everything is set for Biafra to come. And our people will defend their land as it is hot. Please enjoy this video. And do not forget, we still have a conversation tomorrow. We will discuss about this um, massacre and this genocidal attack that is ongoing in Delta State by the so-called terrorist military. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mazio. Okay. Thank you. Um, Yojuku, uh, Ostra Rep 2, uh, your microphone is not enabled on this device. Try to enable your microphone. The microphone is not enabled on this other device that you come in with the phone. The microphone is not there. Okay, connecting your audio. Let's see. Okay, you are good to go now. Your microphone is on now. Start your, start your video, please. Start your video. Start your video and watch it again. Start your video. Start your video and watch it again. Hello? Yes, Hello? who's on the line? Who is speaking, please? Is that the... Yeah, Austrian my son Juku from Austria. Okay. Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Can you start your so, camera? My camera is on. Ah, okay, right on, since we can't uh, I, later. I think, I think he's using two devices, so... Uh, mute yeah. yourself from the other one so that it doesn't echo. Okay. It's okay now. Uh, Hello. Mm, it's still echoing. Just shut down the other one. Okay. Since you're not using the other one, you concentrate on this one. This one on the phone you are having is okay. Shut the other one down. Okay. Yeah, you're okay with the phone. Unmute yourself. Unmute. You're muted. Unmute yourself on the phone. On the phone. On the phone. On the phone. Okay. Yeah, we can hear you. Speak up. You don't mute yourself again on phone. Shut the... See? Lock yourself out from the computer because you're being distracted from the computer. Focus on the phone. Okay, continue on the phone. Unmute yourself. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, very um, good. Now. Yeah, okay, good evening. I welcome all the cabinet members and the government, government, uh, the FR government in Neza to Austrian. IPOB. Uh, good evening once again. I'm so sorry that my my phone and microphone was not. Um, I don't know what was the problem, but thank God that I identified it and then everything is fine now. So I'm welcoming uh, my prime minister here in Austria. Actually, I want to give kind of a little bit uh, um, what happened here. You know. When I came to Europe, um, I trained as a boxer, but uh, unfortunately, when I came to Europe, I couldn't work anymore, <laughs> and I find myself somewhere. So when the problem of um, I, uh, autopilot started here and there, they said they are going to beat me up in um, IPOB. And I said to them, I said to some of them, if you know you're strong, I know I have a baby face, let's move to the ring. I will pay for the fight. And I will defend Simon. Forget about Simon, he's in Finland. I'm here in Austria. So let's go to the ring and then we'll do it there. Either you win me, I win you. So I will pay for everything. But they couldn't, none of them up to today. It just, they just, you know, try to wuzzle their mouth here and there. So I thank each one of us here. My, my, 
my um, Austrian rep have already called my, my own donation, 150 euros. And I want to use this opportunity also to call our brother, uh, Maze Matthew. He's also he's supposed to be here today, but because of one uh, something that happened to his cousin. Yeah. So he couldn't be here now because the, he said that the cousin suddenly died yesterday. So, but he sent message already on the platform that he's going to, he's using 50 euros to break the code as well. So please, let's wish him and his family um, a good wish okay, for the problem he's facing now. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. And our condolences uh, and prayers are with him and the family in this uh, trying period. So please extend uh, our condolences to him and his family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have no end of now. So, Chipokba, you may go to the next item on your agenda. We appreciate all those that uh, have uh, joined hands in breaking the cooler knots. Thank you so much. Chipokba, over to you. Next item. Yeah, on thank you. Thank you very much. The next item is fundraising. After then, then uh, the next is fundraising. I think uh, that have actually uh, been overtaken by the event. So we just continue. If you have, if there are people that uh, that are here, um, you know, that want to support, everybody should know that uh, uh, in a war like this, because we are actually at war. Uh, you know, fund is a very, very uh, important, uh, 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 you know, uh, issue in the in this particular generation. Everything has to do with your resources, and so, and our our liberation tax is something that is happening on daily basis. On daily basis, we are using bullet to make sure that those who come to kill us kill our women, burn our villages, will not do it and go back. Because when they do it and go back, they will come again and even come stronger. So any day they come to do these things and never go back, those who will prepare to come back again will think twice, just like it has been happening every day. Sometimes they even uh, rebel against those sending them. They don't want to come, you know, because they know what has happened to other people that came. So we'll continue like that. And uh, remember that our our main agenda is to make sure we continue to delegitimize this terrorist government in our land before and after the declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra. I'm looking forward to also see many of you in Finland. If you have not registered, you better rush to do that registration because it gets to a certain number and there will be no opportunity again. And this is a lifetime opportunity for your name, for you to be in that particular document. It is very, very important. Anybody that found himself in Finland is coming as a delegate. And your name will be appended on the declaration document as part of those who got to make history in Finland. You remember they have been laughing at us, mocking us. You want to declare Biafra in a, in in a, in uh, Finland. You want to declare Biafra in abroad. You want to do this one because we come to Biafra land. Akonye Wetero. Yeah. Okay. They thought that uh, they have hijacked Nigeria. They thought that uh, anybody that comes to Nigeria, they kill the person. Every time they say, "Come to Nigeria now. Come to Biafra land and do it." We told you we will bring this freedom of Biafra from diaspora. Nobody know what we're talking about. It will come from diaspora. And that is what is happening. They thought that they have caged everywhere. So let us see how they will come to Nigeria now or come to Biafra land now and declare Biafra now. Come down now and do it. We will do it here yes. and carry it there. And it is going to happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the fundraising continues, um, and we are in the very big phase now. Uh, BRGI New York, unmute yourself. 
Hello, good afternoon, dear friends. Good afternoon, PM. Good afternoon, evening. Cabinet members, media team, fellow admins, and all good citizens of Biafra land. I journeyed from New York, accompanying my PM to Austria. I love Vienna. So I am supporting fellow beer friends in Austria with $50. Keep it up. Thank you. 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 Um, while we met 20, while we met 20, unmute yourself. While we met 20, you have the mic. You may put your camera on if you want. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, uh, please, for, the, uh, for, for some reasons, I don't want to turn my camera on. My sister, I greet you. Uh, Prime Minister, Devo. I just want to take a little time to help Prime Minister. Afk himself, Afk of the Afro. I don't, I don't actually know you in person. I've not visited Finland, but I, I welcome you uh, to Austria. Uh, one of my friends who used to live in Finland, but he's not living there anymore. Uh, there was a time last time we were talking about you. And he said to me, he used to play football with you in, in Finland. And uh, he was surprised. All of a sudden, you came to the limelight. I said to him, So I, I'm, I used to say like this, and then you will be saying, ah, Let me quote you the way you say it. Because he, hey, and I do first. Eh? understand. So I don't want to go too far. I welcome you, Prime Minister. I am very glad to speak to you today and for Biafran, uh, the Biafra Republic uh, Government in Exile the ministers and our fellow uh, Biafrans here in Austria to hear my voice. So I am supporting the fundraising with 200 euros. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. OK, Martin Eke on the steering. Over to you. With uh, 1837419601. Six. Hello. Yeah, hello. Sonny, I can hear you right now. Okay, hello. thank you. Um, I I am James uh, Matthews. Um, I thank I, I had when my people from Austria spoke on my behalf because I lost my cousin and uh, I couldn't join on time, and so I thank. I welcome our Prime Minister Fadi Simon Epa. Odobu, uh, Odobu is not my name. So I, 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 I thank him so much with his entourage for coming to Austria. And I also appreciate your condolences uh, to me because I have been on the call all this time, the whole day. So, and um, I have already given my my not widow's might this time, my widow's might, <laughs> whatever it will be, however it may sound. I thank uh Mekba for the wonderful job he's doing. And uh, any person who does not know that God sent him to look around and see the and see the miracle and see how God is sending heaven to to to, to us. And see the extent we have come. So it's a wonderful, uh, it's a wonderful uh, experience. I thank him for the courage. Any, uh, like every person has spoken, God is with him, and he's an uh, he's an athlete, and he understands what it means when we say 
that the wind is behind you. So in, in sport, if the wind is behind you as an athlete, you know, you, you will run faster than you can. But God is behind Mazi Simon Epa and behind all those who are fighting for Biafra with all their conscience. So it is more than wind being behind the person. I thank all the Austrian team, Mazi uh, Opara and every person they can now go, uh, go to who and... Uh, uh, every person, vitalist. I, I have, I listened to some of their speeches and I thank all of them. So, but I, like I wrote to them, I say, if I could have time, I would want to uh, join the Zoom to at least speak, to add voice to to, to our 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 representatives there. So I I thank you, uh, uh, Sony and all the media team and every person who is working in various capacities to make us realize Biafra. So I thank God um, I have given the little I could, but we will continue to, to do our best to, to, to represent Biafra very well from Australia here. Thank you. 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 All right, uh, Oku Ojuku. Martin, go over to you. Omito, sir. Hello. 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 Can you hear yeah, me? Well. Yeah, we can hear you. Very well. Um, I thank you all for for this day.